Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. I'm lusting for something full auto again. Of course, uh, powered with rubber and maybe a battery drill. So I've made a little test device to test out a new automatic feeding system I developed. And it actually seems to work just fine. It's fun! <laughs> Let me show you its features. The main part of the device is this swing arm, which actually is rubber powered. And um, you can see the rubber bands here. See that if you pull back on this, the rubber bands get stretched. Now if you turn it, the lever will be stopped by this uh, screw. And then when I keep turning, eventually it will snap and launch a bullet. Actually, there is a magazine that can hold up to 14 of these uh, hex nuts. And of course, I could just simply make it a little bit longer. And you put those in, like this, until it's all the way in. And then you simply attach these rubber bands to make sure that the tube isn't lost during operation. And when the lever is turned, one of these hex nuts will be fed into the system. And when I release the lever, then the shot is launched. Now, of course, this is quite hard to turn because the rubber force is significant. Therefore, I added a rack and pinion to make it turning more easily. This means also that the speed of the power drill is a little bit reduced, but it is five times more powerful now. And I think it could even handle more powerful rubber and actually it could also spin a lot faster like this. The only problem is that then I would need to force feed the ammo down here. Right now it's only gravity fed and therefore I have to go a little slow on the uh, shot speed. Okay, let's do some test shots. Working pretty good, I think. <laughs> It's working pretty good so far. I mean, of course, in the end, it will have to be a lot bigger and a lot more powerful. But I think I'll optimize the model first so that it's really shooting fast and hard. And then I will make a bigger size version. <laughs> okay, in order to shed some more light on all this Roman and uh, Caledonian battle that uh, we dealt with last time, I decided to also shoot at the camera from lots of different angles and record the sound to know how it feels like when you get bombarded with these from everywhere. That's going to be interesting. One more interesting experiment. I drilled a whole lot of 4mm holes into this 16mm lead ball. Let's listen if it sounds any different. So that wasn't so much different, I think. Seems like one hole is enough. Well, who would have thought? Also, a lot of people complained that I shot at point blank at the gelatin and the coconut. Well, um, fact is that a lead bullet shot from a sling is not going to be slowed down much over the distance because gravity does not slow it down. Gravity just adds a downwards vector. But the speed will stay the same. It's only air resistance that reduces the speed. And air resistance isn't a problem for a heavy lead bullet that is traveling rather slowly. You know, it's like a table tennis ball. When you throw it, it will lose speed very quickly because it lacks the inertia. If you fill that tennis uh, ball with, let's say, water or lead, then you can throw it a lot more far, just because inertia keeps it going against the air resistance. Same thing happens with lead bullets that are launched from a sling. So, I hope you like this, because that's it for today. Thanks and bye-bye. <laughs>